Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share, you can subscribe, you can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So, I am going to slap it down as the holy water, see? Ah, so good in the neighborhood, Pisces. Okay, to get this reading started, I am going to be pulling a mystical shaman oracle and then we will get into your person's energy give me a mystical shaman oracle for this reading today please this is for Pisces okay all right wild woman <laughs> wild child full of grace savior of the human race okay so Wild Woman, number 62. When the Wild Woman dances into your reading, she reminds you of the essence of authenticity and freedom. Okay? So, the Wild Woman holds up a mirror to your essential self, the true essence of who you are and who you're meant to become. She is a reminder of the bright light within, within each one of us that gets dimmed by the restrictions imposed upon us and the expectations of society. She reminds us that in order to be fully present in life, we must uncover the light and let it shine brightly regardless of the perceived consequences. So the invitation, okay, is you're invited to shine brightly and to know that your true self is being called out to engage the world. This is a symbol that you long held your, that your long held dream is beginning to take root and wants to be expressed. Your authentic um, I can't even talk. Your authentic self does not fit in a box. It needs the freedom to shine. It's time to have the courage and step into the light. The wild woman says, "Shine brightly, dance with abandon, be yourself, and let the great spirit decide what happens." And you will be happy that you did. The medicine that comes with this is excess for its own sake is a sign of imbalance. This is a warning that you may have been trapped in obsessive thinking or behavior looking for a release in places that you will never, uh, that will never provide your release here. Let go lest you become like a hungry ghost of Chinese Buddhist lore that can never be fulfilled. True realize comes true realization comes from trusting the fluidity of life understanding that it is just as a river needs its banks to flow through so to do you need boundaries around your thinking and behavior now is the time to simplify be mindful and connect with the light within beautiful message so i am going to put the wild woman or wild man you know it's just about the energy here so, you know what time it is. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dong, presiding. You can all do whatever you want. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy could be approaching you. It could be your own energy for all I know. Whatever the case is, we will get it, we will hit it, and we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe go burn them out in the back. <laughs> it's 80 degrees. Oh, my God. I need spring, not summer. I don't want 80 degrees. It's going to get back down to the 60s. And, of course, you know, last year, remember my air conditioning? Yeah. So, I, I don't know what I'm going to do this year. I don't even know. But I got all the windows closed, the blinds turned back to keep the heat out of the house. Because the other day, it got up into, like... 85 degrees in the house, and I was sweating to the oldies, I'm telling you what. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful... I don't know what that was. Let's go top to bottom. 
Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Okay. Oh, good Lord. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, good Lord. Show me the energy of the person, my... This is, this is rough. <laughs> Show me the energy. This is really rough. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, Pisces. All right. We've got six swords, ten swords, five pen, tower. The overall energy for the reading is the ace of swords. So after ten comes what? One, right there. Ace of swords. Okay. Something's ended here. Your person here doesn't feel like they have a leg to stand on. Something's happened here, drastic, all of a sudden, something shocking here, and this person's trying to move away from conflicts here. So, let's see what has ended in your person's energy here. What has ended in this person's energy, please? What has ended in this person's energy, please? What has ended? Okay, we're going to get one more on that with a page of swords. What has ended with a page of swords? Their aggression. Their aggression. Their aggression has ended with these ten swords. Mm hmm Because of judgment. That's literally what I'm getting. Their aggression has ended here. So they were aggressive about something here. I don't know. What was this person aggressive about? What was this person aggressive about that's ended? Okay. They had to step back into their power. That's all I'm getting. They had to end this aggression to step back in their power here. Okay? So your person must have had a bad day, I guess. All right? <laughs> hey, we all have bad days, don't we? I mean, come on now. I mean, let's, let's be real here. So, they're like, okay, I can't be aggressive here because I'm starting to lose control. And the emperor cannot lose control because if he loses control, his whole empire could collapse. And that is the last thing that the emperor wants to do is lose his empire. Because then he would lose order and then he would lose status and then he would become a pleb. A common person an ordinary person and this person did not want to be a pleb okay okay so why is this person in this five of Pentacles energy what is this all about what's this five of Pentacles with the high priestess okay Pisces <clears throat> Okay, so this person realizes here, okay, they've had a realization, especially with that high priestess energy here. Under this five of pentacles energy, it's like, okay, you know, I got a lot more work ahead and I, I need to move forward here and I'm, I'm ready to take action on something. So what is this person ready to take action on? What is this person ready to take action on? What are they ready to take action on? Ten cups. Okay. So what's this ten cups to them? It's something here that they've, they've been longing. It's a relationship that they've been longing for. So somebody here is ready to take action here on, a, on a, having a relationship. Okay. Okay. So what's this tower moment this person's had? What's this tower moment this person's had? Okay. They realized something here. Okay. It was a realization here. And it was like they needed some time to reflect here. So what is this realization here that this person need, needed time to reflect under the tower about? 
What was this here? What was this? Top to bottom? What was this? Sure. Sure. Okay. Okay. They realized that they were out of balance here. Okay. So they're like, that's not working. I cannot be out of balance anymore. Literally. And this emperor in this particular deck, this chariot here is, it doesn't operate. It's the one that goes, the chariot's supposed to move forward. Okay, like I said, this emperor, your person, was out of balance here. They realized it here. They realized that they weren't getting anywhere in life with this aggression in their energy here. So they were very aggressive. Maybe they were yelling and going off on people, telling, you know, people to, you know, go fuck off, you know, flipping people off. Who knows? It's a multitude of things. Going off on their business partners, going off on their workers, going off on just all kinds of people. They were just going off the handle. Yeah, this person was off the cuff. Which, when you get off the cuff, then it can create what? Fisticuffs. And nobody wants fisticuffs. And this is what this person realized. Okay. So where are they going here with these six swords? Where is this person going with the six swords? Where are they going? Hmm. Are they going back to a marriage? What is the six cups for where they're... Uh, what, where are they going with the six cups and the four wands? An opportunity here. It's the ace of wands here. Okay. Oh boy. So this could be... Mm, a new endeavor here. A new way of life here. Or a new relationship or two people just coming together here okay so what's going on here where are they going here with these what is this ace of wands represents to them okay I feel like they're going back to somebody it could be you it could be your ex coming back I'm picking up marriage though for some reason I don't always get marriage here with the four of Wands, but somebody wants to go back to their marriage here. And this is where they've been longing here, ready to take action here on this relationship. Which would make perfect sense. Okay. Alright, I'm going to get the uh, channel messages here. We'll get some channels and then I'll close off this reading. Channels, please. Sure. <laughs> uh, I'm not that attracted to you. What the heck? Are they going back to you and they're not that attracted to you? What's going on here? I trust you. Oh, my God. What the heck? My past is affecting this whole thing. <laughs> going on? Oh, Pisces. Tarot's adjourned.